Well, hello again. Uh, on the day that Russia has invaded Ukraine, we have to ask, should we support Ukraine? Well, few countries have had so many incursions and invasions over the centuries. There have been Scythians, Romans, Ostrogoths, Bulgars, Mongols, Polish, Lithuanians, Ottomans, Cossacks, Austro-Hungarians, and of course the Russians, who now intend to overrun it and bring it back to the glory days of the Soviet Union. Should we care? Okay, well, I look at both sides. First of all, those who say, yes, indeed, we should care. Uh, Ukraine is a huge country, uh, and it blocks the real access of Russia to the Black Sea. That's important. And it has a big population. It, it means, that means it counts. It matters. Uh, Ukraine has extensive fertile farmlands. It's one of the world's largest grain exporters. Uh, known as the breadbasket of Russia for many years. We don't want such a major food supplier to be out of business. That would be bad for everybody. Driving up uh, bread prices, bread shortages have, have caused revolutions in the past. We don't want any more of that. Uh, Biden has stated the case for dealing with this in principle. He said... It's about standing for what we believe in, for the future that we want for our world, for our liberty, the right of countless countries to choose their own destiny, and the right of people to determine their own futures. Uh, or the principle that a country can't change its neighbor's borders by force. Uh, if we do not stand for freedom where it is at risk today, we will surely pay a steeper price tomorrow. Well, uh, it's also coveted by Russia. They want it back. Uh, if Russia gets away with it, the Baltic republics could be next. Where, where would it all stop? We don't want the Cold War and the post-World War II Eastern European invasions all over again. So it's simple. Uh, we, we have to stop them somehow. Well, what about those who would say, no, uh, we don't need to support uh, Ukraine. We shouldn't support Ukraine. Uh, Ukraine is, as Prime Minister Chamberlain once said, a faraway place of which we know little. It is simply not in our area of interest and knowledge. It's as simple as that. Um, it's uh, the poorest country in Europe, suffering from very high levels of poverty, as well as uh, severe corruption. If we get too involved in the affairs of Ukraine, uh, we'd, we'd be taking on a burden at a time when, when we need all of our energy and money simply to bounce back from the devastation of COVID. Uh, let's make sure that we have our priorities in the right place. Furthermore, Putin holds uh, strong cards. Russia is a supplier of natural gas on which European countries are dependent, and any withholding of that would cause unacceptable pressure at the consumer level and prices, as we are experiencing now. Um, his computer specialists are also experts in cyber warfare. We could expect an onslaught on our institutions and even our weapon systems. Whoa, ho, ho, a real nightmare, that. And this part of the world has demonstrated a never-ending history of conflict. It's going on now. It'll, it'll continue to do so indefinitely. And we've all had enough of getting involved in other people's uh, disputes, especially those which have long-standing historic roots. Intervention seldom works, nor does it end well. Let them get on with it. Okay, uh, well, what's my take on all of this? Well, look, uh, we all know Putin is a megalomaniac uh, crook, really, and a, a klepto crook at that. But in a way, his, uh, his desire to build a protective wall around Russia is understandable. Uh, Russia has suffered many incursions from European powers. Uh, <laughs> remember Napoleon, Hitler, uh, some of them resulting in enormous losses of life. Uh, that uh, 
keeps its place in the in the memory of the nation and in the uh, and in the memory of its citizens. Like China, Russia is paranoid about militant neighbors, and its desire to ring fence itself from further invasion is not all that irrational. The prospect of Ukraine's joining NATO, which has been discussed from time to time, would be for them catastrophic, a bit like Khrushchev installing nuclear missiles in Cuba. But that doesn't mean we have to put up with the kind of thing that we're seeing from Russia now. And under Putin, it has become a rogue state. It does things like killing dissidents in England uh, with uh, nasty poisons, that kind of thing. Um, And although the war is starting only between Ukraine and Russia, the rest of us could get dragged in, especially since our politicians have made such a big thing about it. We have enough problems as we try to recover from COVID without an enraged Putin shutting off the gas. <laughs> uh, nobody wants to get into a shooting war with Russia, but other forms of pressure, especially financial, uh, going after the assets of uh, rich Russians uh, in places like England, where there are a lot of them, and also trade sanctions. All of those sorts of things have widespread report in support in just about every Western country. So it's not a problem. Turn up the heat. (laughs) Uh, Okay, well, there you have it. Uh, I suspect most people will enjoy it, that, and support it. But please, if you do, uh, give me a like, uh, subscribe, uh, comment, uh, uh, notify, and all that sort of thing. And I'll see you at the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.